Uh, 2023 was such a great year and we are going to send it off with a bang. We are going to do our final giveaway for 2023 and it's going to be a big one inside this yellow package right here. This is a fanny pack. Uh, this is a fanny pack and I'm going to explain to you exactly the story behind this fanny pack in just a minute, but we're going to replace the contents of this fanny pack and we're going to rebuild it into a God fanny pack. I guess it could be a God fanny pack currently. We'll find out in a minute, but we're going to replace it uh, with these packs right here and we're going to give this God fanny pack to one lucky subscriber. So we've got uh, Jim Heroes, Jim Challenge, uh, base 2, Fossil, uh, Jungle, First Edition Jungle, uh, Team Rocket, and Base. And we are going to be giving this God Fanny Pack away to one lucky subscriber. If you want to enter to win, here's what you do. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed. Make sure you do that. That's, that's step number one. Step number two is leave a like on this video. And step number three is leave a comment on this video. Then come back to the channel on December 31st, New Year's Eve. We're going to have a video that comes out. It's probably just going to be an opening or something chill, something fun to bring in the new year. Uh, but we're going to announce the winner at the beginning of that video. So even if you don't want to watch that whole video, that's fine. I would appreciate it if you did, but you don't have to. Um, you, you'll see who the winner is. I'll, I'll do one of these things. I'll post it up there. Uh, and we will send off this newly created God Fanny Pack to one lucky subscriber. So hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment on this video. And then boom, you are entered. Come back on December 31st. This is going to be a big, big deal. We're going to talk right now about Fanny Pack. So basically the whole mentality behind the Fanny Packs was my take on Mystery Packs. I wanted to do something different. Something that tilted the odds in the customer's favor because let's face it opening pokemon cards the way it is is kind of like gambling you're going to go out you're going to spend four dollars on a pack in the hopes that you pull something awesome but most of the time you're going to pull a hollow rare or you're going to pull uh if you do get a hit a bulk v card or a bulk v max or v star card that's only worth a dollar or two dollars and you're not getting the value back out of opening pokemon cards and obviously there's a lot more to opening pokemon cards than just the value that you get out of your packs uh, if that's going to be like your main thing is that you just want to pull a uh, huge value card then Pokemon probably isn't for you because there's some amazing artworks, there's some amazing stories, and it's a lot of fun to open up Pokemon cards and chase your, chase the cards that you're dreaming of. However, uh, there is gambling that goes associated with it because every once in a while you pull that big Umbreon VMAX or that Rayquaza VMAX or that, that Roaring Moon special illustration rare that's worth over $100 and you get all excited and you go back and you buy more, and that's the gamb gambling mentality that goes along with it. So when I was doing mystery packs, I wanted to take out the gambling side because mystery Mystery packs are almost like a gamble on top of a gamble, right? You go to Target or you go to Walmart and you buy this mystery power cube that's $30, $40 and you get four packs inside and a bunch of common and uncommon cards. And then they have this big graphic on the outside of the packaging that's like, look out for seated vintage packs. And then they have a picture of a Team Rocket Returns pack or a base set pack when you buy and buy and buy and never end up pulling. It gets really, really frustrating. So I wanted to do something different where you were able to chase a good selection of packs. And because of that, we left out Darkness Ablaze. We left out Sword and Shield. We left out Rebel Clash. We left out um, we left out the sets that didn't really contain alternate arts because we wanted you to be able to chase cards that were in desire, that you really wanted to be, uh, that you really wanted to get big hits from. And then we guaranteed a pack that was pre-Sword and Shield. So the worst possible tier which was one out of every two would contain at least one Steam Siege or one Sun and Moon Base or one Crimson Invasion or one Guardians Rising, those lower tier XY Sun and Moon packs because that way it gives you the opportunity of opening something that's at least a little bit older, right? At least something that's a little bit exciting. And then the second tier, which was basically one out of every 1.75, would contain something a little bit better from XY or from Sun and Moon, like Ultra Prism or Cosmic Eclipse or Team Up or, or Flash Fire, a, a better pack than those four that I listed before. And then one out of every 25 would contain a Vintager pack. So something from black and white or all the way back up to base set and really would tilt the odds in the customer's favor because this was seven packs packs that you were basically paying retail for. You were paying $27.99 without getting uh, Pokemon Go or those other packs that you've already opened up a ton of. So that was our take on mystery packs. And because of that, they were very popular. And we did eight, nine, 10 runs, something ridiculous like that. And we tried to make sure that we could get as many of these packs as possible in the hands of our customers. And so in order to do that, we also did our merch drop where we had uh, the actual wearable fanny packs that were still relatively inexpensive, but we kept that up as a made to order 
where it lasted over a week. So you could go in and you could order. It would be made. I think I got all those shipped out within a couple weeks of ordering. We had some drops that lasted over 24 hours. So if you followed on Discord or you followed on YouTube, you had opportunities in order to buy these. And then we announced when the last drop would be, which ended up being uh, not, not as good as I hoped it would. It went really, really fast. We made more fanny packs than we ever had before, probably more than all of the drops combined. Uh, and it sold out in like 10, 12 minutes, something ridiculous like that. And then this happened. Uh, unfortunately, somebody decided that they were going to sell these packs on eBay. And now, first of all, I want to preface this big time. This is not a witch hunt. This is nothing against the person who decided to do this. If this is your cup of tea, if this is what makes you happy in the hobby, if you want to go and you want to buy stuff on the secondary or on, on the secondary market and then resell it on the, that, go nuts. Like that is whatever. I genuinely mean this. Whatever makes you happy in the hobby, I respect the hustle. I want you to be happy. Do what makes you happy. However, if you do something like that, I get the right to tell you why you shouldn't buy. And you should not buy fanny packs on the secondary market because these are easily searchable and we purposely made them to be easily searchable. The whole idea behind this was to open up the packs and enjoy, have fun opening up packs where you maybe got, you know, uh, an XY base pack for only $4 or a flash fire pack for only $4 or even a base set pack for only $4. And because of that, we didn't seal anything. It's just a Ziploc seal. That's it. You don't have to rip these open. They're easily searchable. So when you're looking on eBay or when you look on the secondary market, if you see somebody carrying fanny packs, don't buy them on the secondary market because it's very, very easy to open them up, replace the contents inside, and then and then just reseal it back up. It, it's super simple. So I wanted to record a video to kind of go over what's in this fanny pack to see what this person missed out on and then repackage it so I could send it back out into the wild and this time make it a fanny god pack because uh, I, I just... I don't want people to buy these on the secondary market knowing that they're easily searchable. Uh, just just don't do it. If you missed out, you missed out. And that's okay. We'll figure out something else in 2024 that's even better than fanny packs. And we'll keep going until we get to that point. So with that being said, let's turn this around. Let's get this bad boy open. I'm assuming there's nothing good in here because you can easily check out the contents. I'm more eager to see if there was anything that was replaced inside. Um, I know the pack selection that would be more, more than likely if there's packs that wouldn't be included. Like I didn't include any battle styles. I didn't include any sword and shield base or rebel clash or darkness ablaze uh, or vivid voltage. I didn't include any of those sets. So uh, we're going to break inside this. But the big thing is a lot of times you'll watch openings and people will rip this side off. Um, these are actually, these are not heat sealed. These are just, it's just Ziploc. So if I just I can just open it up like that. So whoever, if you are going out looking for fanny packs, first of all, it's okay to miss out. Every once in a while, you're going to miss out. It's not that big of a deal. You just pay attention for the next one. We'll do something else. That'll be fun. And, and you focus on the next one. Don't worry about what already happened. Like, that's not a big deal. Uh, but we're going to look inside here. And the assumption is, is that there's not going to be anything great at the, the end of these. Uh, so <laughs> let's take a look. So we've got uh, a Paradox Rift, Scarlet and Violet Base, uh, Fusion Strike, Astral Radiance, Silver Tempest, Crown Zenith, and Evolution. So this is actually a, a decent fanny pack. Uh, these retailed for $27.99, right? $28. And this is, I mean, you've got, what, let's say 12, 15, 18. Uh, you've got probably $38 or so worth pack. I paid $85 for it. I mean, I, I, I didn't pay $85 for it. A uh, huge shout out to the the, the fan mods, the, the mods in our uh, Discord channel. Henry, uh, Zero, you guys are absolutely amazing. Z Zero was the one who actually uh, put me on to this fanny pack being listed on, on eBay. And then Henry helping me out, making sure that we could purchase it and then getting it shipped out here. This is actually a, a pretty good fanny pack. So we're going to look and see what was missed out on. And then we're going to replace it uh, with all of these packs right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put these packs in the fanny pack. And now this is going to be reshipped to one of you guys, to a subscriber. And we're going to see what this person missed out on by not wanting to open up this fanny pack. Now, unfortunately, we way overpaid on this, but to have an Evolutions is actually pretty good. Uh, personally, I really thought that the Evolutions pack or whatever pack would be the, the chase pack would be missing and be replaced by some, like something else. So this is actually, uh, I mean, not that big of a deal. The guy actually, I'm assuming, kept it sealed and just didn't, didn't, didn't take anything out. Like he just left it, bought it, and then resold it on the secondary market for 
three times the cost, which is his prerogative to do. So we've got Paradox Rift uh, that we're going to break into. We'll see if we can pull anything good out of this fanny pack that just was not wanted. This is an unwanted fanny pack, which is very unfortunate. Hopefully we'll pull something really good. There's an earthen vessel. That's not great, uh, but it's at least something. Uh, and that, that's, that's it for the Paradox Rift. So let's jump into Scarlet and Violet Bay. See if we can pull something out of here. Uh, looks like we're going to at least get a hit. Lucario, Toad Scroll, and a Gyarados EX. All right, so we missed out on a hit. We'll see if we can get, I don't know if we're going to get the value of the packs out of this unless we pull some big old banger. Wouldn't that be great if we pulled a big old banger like out of Fusion Strike here? We pull like a Gengar VMAX or Espeon VMAX or something like that. Gumi, Aracuda, Snubble, Geodude. Uh, we've got a Galarian Cursula and a Gorbis. So that is not a Gengar or an Espeon. Uh, but we've got other chances. Let's check out Astro Radiance. We could pull the Machamp. The whole idea behind these fanny packs was to try and keep it with uh, as many packs related to alternate arts as we possibly could because people like chasing alternate arts. Alternate arts are fun. Oh, we're going to get a Heat Envy. All right, so at least we got another hit. So we got two hits so far. Nothing huge, just basically two bulk ultra rares so far. Let's jump into the Silver Tempest pack and see... Maybe we can find a Lugia or something like that. That would be that would be nice. We got a Rotom, Buneri, Dreepy, Fampy. We're skipping over Fletchling, that poor Fletchling. Archon and a Zygarde. So nothing great there. Hypno, another Archon, Serena. Uh, and then we've got Crown Zenith and Evolutions. All right, so these are our last two packs. We'll see if we can pull anything out of the final two. Uh, maybe a gold card out of here. Bidoof, Potion, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Chatot, and a Toro. So that's not going to do it. Salazzle, Dusclops, and there's the code card. All right, last pack. We've got Evolutions. There's really nothing that we can really pull in Evolutions that's going to make this worth our while. But we'll check. Maybe we'll pull a maybe we'll pull a Zard or a, a Mega Zard or something really cool. Electabuzz, Rattata, Growlithe. All right, we got a Grass Energy Hollow Rare and a Hollow Polyrath, which is. I mean, it's neat. It's a base set polyrath, polywhirl, full heal, porygon, and there's the code card. So I just wanted to make awareness. Um, obviously, I helped this scalping by purchasing the pack, but that's okay. Um, like I said, you do your thing. Like, go nuts. I, I have nothing against it. But don't, don't buy these on the secondary market because they are just Ziploc. So they can easily be manipulated. They can easily be, uh, the packs can easily be switched out. So don't worry if you uh, missed out on the fanny packs. It's not the end of the world. There'll be another project that we'll do, I'm sure, in 2024 that'll be just as good, if not better. Uh, I, I do really like uh, giving back to the community. You guys have blessed me so much and this is not like this is not a front. Like, you know, like this is this is real. This is just me. I really appreciate you guys so much. You have made this entire journey absolutely amazing. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. I love you guys so much. Like it's it, this is a family. Like this is uh, it's corny. I get it. Uh, but honestly, you guys mean the world to me. So now we've got another Fanny God pack uh, that is going to hit uh, somebody's mailbox. So if you want to win it, just hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment on this video. Don't scalp the fanny packs uh, unless you absolutely have to. And if you do, uh, everybody else don't buy them because they're easily, easily searchable on purpose. So that way, uh, I just wanted to create something that people could open and pay $4 a pack. And if you got a vintage pack for 4 bucks, that is absolutely amazing so thank you guys so much for everything i hope you enjoy the content we'll be back uh in tomorrow a couple days we'll be back in a couple days with another video until next time peace